Metway. She was a student at Aikido of San Francisco and has since taken the art out into her work in meditation and extended consciousness practices. So I thought you might like to hear a little of some of what she sees, how it looks from her perspective. And again, I share all these voices in hopes that you may find your own doorway to the infinite or whatever you seek. Happy to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. The, the unseen, not so obvious aspects about Aikido is that energetic piece. And uh, the energetic piece can tie into kind of a mind thinking way. And what I would think of in that is the uh, relational approach that we have with ourselves to the world versus a linear approach. And what that means is in a linear approach, you go, you know, if you need to get to the, go through the alphabet and use your letter A, then you need to go through B, C, D, so forth, all the way through Z. And that needs to happen sometimes, but sometimes a more efficient and more intelligent way is relational thinking. And that relational piece is really about being at the center of everything. And what it looks like is obviously a center in a circle. So let's say you have the alphabet circled around you, you know, A, B, C, D, in a clock kind of a format. And if you're at the center of that, where the pieces of time, you know, is, then if I'm at letter A and all of a sudden I want to get to letter Z, I'm still at the center of that circle and I exert the same amount of efficient energy to get to Z to have some relation to that versus A, versus going through A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z, all the way to, you know, the letter Z. So I, I find that Aikido is that practice of relational thinking. You, whether it's a test day or you get on the Aikido man and you have a concept of what you think you're gonna execute in a specific technique, whatever technique that is. And, uh, you have in your mind this objective of when you're thinking that, okay, if I stand this way, I put my feet this way, I sidestep off the line, then I can therefore execute the technique. It's a very A, B, C, D when you're thinking. But then you encounter all the other variables of, oh, the uke is not the right size or movement, uh, range of motion is limited. And so the, the workings of linear thinking only ends up beating your head against the wall without getting anywhere. So where you have to then step into is this relational thinking mind space or place um, where yes, you realize there's a certain linear um, aspect around how to execute techniques, but you have to take into account, you know, the the uke the tappers size and movement and so forth like that which uh, um, really goes into a very felt sense way of being it's not logical it's not in your mind anymore um, you really have to feel into that 